Hello everyone, my name is Tipika and in this video I am going to talk about data masking feature in MDM IDD. We will first walk through the data mask and then followed by the regular expression how you can configure data mask in MDM and then I will walk you through the demo. At last there will be certain points to note while using data masking feature in MDM. Data masking mechanism is used to hide critical information from users or from IDD users that are not authorized to access this information. For example, your MDM is storing multi-country data. So you do not want the data steward belonging to the certain country, for example, EMEA, EMEA region to view the data from the US region. So you can mask or hide the certain information or the data for the specific field from the unauthorized users. For the mask field for which you will apply the data mask, IDD will replace the part of characters with the asterisk symbol. Mask pattern has to be described using regular expression in IDD. I will show you over the demo how you can do that. The part of expression that must be masked that has to be in the parenthesis. These are the expression which you can use while configuring data mask for a particular field. As these symbols are self-explanatory, dot means there is any character, dot followed by star means sequence of character, dot followed by plus symbol means sequence of character but it has it cannot be empty sequence, dot followed by integer number in curly braces means n number of characters dot in the square bracket means it's a dot character now I will show you the demo how you can configure data mask in MDM in this demo I'm going to take MDM simple as example and I'm going to mask first name and last name of a user under person subject area so whatever subject area field you want to mask you need to first edit that subject area go to the data masking tab no data mask defined yet so I'm going to add a data mask A new window will open so first step is you need to define the column which you want to hide the information so in this demo I'm taking a first name and here comes a mask pattern where you need to define the regular expression how you want the data to be masked so if you want all the field to be masked all the values to be masked corresponding to the field you need to give a symbol like this dot followed by asterisk and this is the test data here you give an example and you test it it will tell you how the mass value will appear in the IDD screen so in as per this mass pattern I'm going to mask all the values for this field so if my input is informatica all the value will come as a mass value because I have defined the pattern like this if I want that only last three words should appear rest all should appear as a match data I can define a mass pattern star dot plus in the parenthesis which I want to mask I as I have explained earlier whichever value you want to mask you have to put in parenthesis and rest last three field you want to appear as it is whatever value it is so if you click on test data all the field will be masked except the last three field similarly way if you want first three letters to show or first four letter to appear and followed by all the other patterns should be masked you can give a mask pattern like this so uh, in this demo uh, let, let's take I want to show first two characters the parenthesis has to be proper and 
where stall I am making it as a masked value and the third step is you have to define the rules this is really important step because the user belonging to that role will not be able to view the original data it they will only be able to view the mass data as per the mass pattern that we have defined so this in this demo I am taking a user role as a manager whoever belongs to a manager whoever our manager should not be able to see view the first name or should be able to view only the first three letter of the first name similarly I can add another data mass for the another column let's say last name and I want to mask the whole value if I say plus that will also be same except that it cannot accept empty sequence so the user belonging to the manager role I will not be able to see the value of first name and the last name with the original data that is how I configured for the person subject area mark it ok save the IDD application so in this demo I already have a user in I belongs to the role manager so if I log into the IDD application MDM sample using the user in I he should not be able to view the first name and last name with the original data he should be should be seeing the mask data because we have configured it as an unauthorized user for belonging to that role let us log into IDD using infa user let us search view person subject area record and see the value of first name and last name on which we have applied the data mask so you can see for the first name only first three letters are appearing which you have made it like for we want to see only first three letters and the rest of the record should be come as a mass data which is coming as a asterisk number and the last name we have set it as all the records should come as a asterisk symbol so this is how the data mask work when the user is assigned to a role on which we have applied the data mask so there are few points to note a user will still be able to view the unmasked value that is original value if it belongs to two security low roles one on which we have applied the mass value and other on which the mass value is not applied in this case the unmasked value will take the persistent over the masked value because user also belongs to the role on which we have not applied any data mask so so there is no restriction for the user belonging to the role to view the original data even though the user belongs to the security load on which the mask is applied but still the user belongs to the role on which mask is not applied so the unmasked value will take persistent over the masked value if no security role is defined while configuring the data mask then automatic mask will be applied to all the non-admin users irrespective of which security role they belongs to thank you very much for watching this video we will love to hear from you you can write to us at sub support videos at informatica.com or you can twitter us at twitter.com infasupport thank you